Welcome to the general concept of operation for the DX1000 long range distance sensor. The DX1000 can be used in different industries, for example, ports and cranes, metal and steel, and traffic. The parameters of the DX1000 can be configured with the software SOPAS ET or the touch display of the device. This tutorial covers the operation using the touch display. Now we want to explain the configuration and operation. The touch display is pressure sensitive and is designed for convenient parameter setup in tough industrial environments. The user interface of the main display level has the following layout. Measured values, main menu, navigation buttons, information about the device status, selected menu item. Further pages of the main display level show signal level, temperature, operating hours and object speed. To enter the main menu, press the menu button for 2 seconds. The sensor parameters were organized in 5 menu groups. To enter the highlighted menu group, press OK. The menu group called measurement contains parameter settings such as filter settings, measurement cycle time and echo selection. To switch to the menu group IO interface, press the right arrow button. Here you configure the digital in and outputs and the analog output. Device contains device parameter settings, for example laser control and front screen heating. Configure the serial and ethernet interfaces in the menu communication. The category info provides general device information such as the software revision. To permanently save the parameter changes, press the return arrow and return to the main display level. This tutorial gave you a general overview of how to easily configure the DX1000 with its graphical touch display. This allows you to perfectly adjust the sensor to your individual application. DX1000, great performance at great distance.